Welcome to your 10 minute HIIT workout. So we're gonna do some functional exercises, sports related moves um, that can get your heart rate up and you can use this at home for your home exercise. Um, of course, make sure that you follow your um, target heart rate, your perceived exertion. Don't go completely breathless on us, but um, the exercises are five exercises, one minute each, and with 30 seconds of rest. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a jumping jack. I'm gonna demonstrate all the exercises, then we're gonna do them, okay? So the jumping jack, you can do more than one way. Um, I'm gonna start out with the lowest version. If you wanna do chair, a chair jumping jack, actually you can just do a half one because anytime your arms are over your head, it's gonna raise your heart rate more, okay? So a, a, you can do a modified jumping jack like this. You can do a full jumping jack, and that really works your core if you need to do something seated. If you're standing, you can do side jumping jacks, modified, or you can do the real deal, whatever you feel like. For the purpose of this video, I will be doing modified so that I can talk through it and I'm not bouncing everywhere. So um, that's, um, the, that's the jumping jack. The other exercise you'll be doing is a jump rope. And you can play with this any way you want to. You can do jump rope like this. You can do jump rope backwards. You can do crisscross applesauce jumping jack. You can do a march with your jumping jack. You can do a jog with your jumping jack. You can do a jump with your jumping jack. You can also go side to side with your jumping jack. Uh, you can just be all creative. And as you can see, you can also do that one in the chair. It really works your core. Mm -hmm. You will feel it. I mean, uh, more so than standing if you want to target your abs. That's, that's the one. The next one is, it, it's not really basketball, but it kind of is. Okay, so you're going to dribble to shoot to. Modified is like this. You can do this in the chair. You can take it up just a little bit, modified with a little jump here, or you can just dribble to shoot to. I know people don't really dribble to and shoot to. It's just to mimic emotion. <laughs> okay, so you can play basketball. And then the next one is a side punch. So you're gonna get in a stance. You're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna go to the side and you're gonna go, you're changing going from, you're gonna hit somebody in the head and then hit them in the abs. So head, abs, head, abs. And if you wanna get crazy, you can add a little jump with that. You don't have to do that. You can do that marching in place in the, in the chair and we're gonna do um, a minute on each side. So, you know what to do? On your mark, get set. We're gonna start with jumping jacks. Um, I'm waiting for the timer. On your mark, get set. Five more seconds. <laughs> and we're gonna go for those jumping jacks. Here we go. Side to side, or you can do the full one, whatever you wanna do, or you can do a couple of each way. If you have joint issues, there's no need for you to hurt your joints. If you wanna work your abs, do what Rebecca's doing. You can also go faster to get that heart rate up. If your legs get tired, you can just do your arms. If your arms get tired, you can just do your legs, but keep moving. This whole minute, keep moving. We wanna bring that heart rate up. All right, five more seconds. Let's do the full. Go, go, go. A little faster. And deep breath in, march. Recovery, deep breath in. In through your nose, out through your lips. Give those muscles lots of oxygen. All right, jump rope is coming up in 10 seconds. I 
hope everybody's smiling. All right, here we go with jumping jacks. You can make the arms big. You can make the arms little. You can go forward or backward. You can do it like this. You can do it with a full jump. You can do it with, a, like I said, a crisscross. You can also crisscross it like this. But just keep moving. I'll get back to this. Big arms really work your arms. You can change it up. Reverse it. So this is your workout, so you do what feels good to you. But I do want your heart rate to start going up. Try to talk to somebody in your class. <laughs> Try to sing to the music. If you can sing without taking a breath, you're not going hard enough. All right, good job recovering. Deep breath and let it out. Deep breath and let it out. We have dribble to shoot to coming up. All right, we got 15 more seconds of recovery. Get a sip of water if you need it. Wipe the sweat if you need to. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dribble to shoot to. Dribble to shoot to. Dribble to shoot to. You can go faster. You can add the hop if you want to, but there's no need to. If you want to take it, you can also take it lower. That will get your heart rate up, going from low to high. Just keep moving. One minute, it seems like a long time sometimes, doesn't it? Doesn't it? This is a great thing to do though, when it's raining outside or cardiac rehab is closed because of snow. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's march it out. Deep breath in, let it out. The next one, I don't think I demonstrated this one, but it's a side pull. I'll demonstrate it while we're waiting. Don't start with me yet. You're going to bring it out, pull it in like this. We're going to do uh, a minute on each side with no break in between. This is your burnout. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> All right, set it up. And we're going to go one side on your mark, get set, go. You can go slower. I turned to the side in my chair so yes. I can accomplish this. Yes. And if you want to really work your abs, really do that little crunch right there. That adds just a little something to it. Now, if you have bad balance, please don't try this. Stand there. And if you bend this knee, you will really feel a good quad workout. Keep breathing. And you can slow it down if you need to. We're almost done with this side. All right, let's transition. Deep breath and go. Make sure you're breathing out. I love these because I don't have to count. <laughs> I don't yes. have to keep up with Just it. You can go Just at go. your pace. You can slow it down. I can hear some of you now. <laughs> She's going too fast. You can slow it down for sure and actually really engage your core more. But I know some of you are going to be going like this. <laughs> and, and that's okay. Yes. Get those endorphins flowing. And it's a really good thigh workout. Yep. And it's good for your balance. We're almost done. I'm definitely breathing a little heavy. 
and we made it. Woo! Go ahead and do your 